Welcome to TensorFlow 2 Deep Learning Tutorial. Today we will learn about Node. This is the most popular diagram when people describe deep learning. Here all vertices are nodes. Nodes are normally in a layer and we call these connected layers as network. Today we will take a closer look at one basic node which is mostly used in the deep learning. The node just multiplies input x with its weight and add bias on it, and then put the output in the sigmoid to get the final result. Sigmoid is a function which always gives output in range between 0 to 1. Normally, when we say parameter or variable, it means weight and bias in a node. Intuitively, you can think the variable or parameter as how the node think about the input x. Here I put TensorFlow 2 code for one feature node example. First, I created a node class and you can find weight and bias are tf.variables as I explained. In contrast, I created input x using tf.constant. This is because input is given data which never, never, never changes during training, while the variables are keep changing during trainings. Intuitively, you can think we keep changes how model think about the fixed given data during training. The get output function is just as simple as same as I explained about the code. And this is two features single node example. Everything is the same, but the weight and the input has now two numbers. You can increase the feature count as much as you need with TensorFlow's powerful API. And this is three samples for two features node example. You can see only change is just input x has more data than the previous example. You may recognize that all numeric values are in matrix format. This is because TensorFlow optimizes calculation using matrix multiplication. For example, this three sample calculation is just all one time complexity from TensorFlow while it will be all n by n in normal Python script without the matrix multiplication. When deep learning predicts it just flow from the input to output. We call it forward propagation. When deep learning training, there is another step called back propagation. It is basically updates variables in deep learning model. I will explain it in the next video. Well, the next question, how many things can we do with this simple node? That is valid question and yes, we can do some simple logical gate operation and some simple logic with simple node, but we cannot do something like self-driving, machine translation, which you may want to do with deep learning with just this single node. The power comes from the connecting multiple nodes with the backpropagation. This is beginning of deep learning video and I hope we can reach out to the top level of the deep learning technique soon. Lastly, you can practice the TensorFlow code by going the link below. So I'm going to copy this and going to the Chrome here and just go here. Then you will see the Jupyter notebook here and just click open in club then this will automatically go to the club and you just run everything from here run all make sure run anyway here then it will just run every code here and as you can see every code I have written you can just practice from your side well thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video